extra marker, please! See if you can get it! Oh, sorry, dude! <laughs> Jessica and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we finally got more context to help with us to deal with Bill Williamson and uh, it's gonna take a while I feel like because it seems like John's gonna have to convince everybody to help us out but it seems like we're on the right track so hopefully we'll continue this way. If you guys have been enjoying the series remember to leave a like. Your support actually does help the channel and lets me know that you guys want me to continue this as a let's play so if you could please do that I'd really appreciate that. Return the stolen wagon to the owner. Uh-oh, ma'am. All right, I thought I could talk to her. Never mind. Let me go get your wagon. I'll be back. Where do you think you're going, huh? Uh-huh. That's what I thought, dumbass. All right, let me get this wagon back to the lady. She's gonna need it. I always have to ask, like, why... Why do the thieves always think that stealing is a good idea? Like, you're in America. Everybody has guns around here. <laughs> here you go, ma'am. Got it back for you. You saved my farm. May the Lord bless you. It was nothing, lady. Anytime. Oh, he's with a lady. Oh, no, he's dreaming. Never mind. <laughs> Ew! Where are you? Oh, I, who do you hunt? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Oh. Sir, you left me. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you? Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like he gets Friend. into this, like, I predicament a lot because of his drinking. I want to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. Uh. <laughs> I thought John was going to throw it away, but I guess he's going to drink it. It makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. God, I hope this time we actually Not find the gun. Not to give up easily, are you? Well, no, because I gotta get Bill. Like, hello? <laughs> this is the reason why we're here. I love me, faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> I mean, he's singing. No, I'm right as rain. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. Stuck between pear and Madeline. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead. <laughs> Try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient f***er, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I don't think it's I better in patient. You just lied to him and ran away. <laughs> Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. Or sell it. I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Or shoot at something with it. to me, Irish. To do that. I don't know. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying. I mean, I wouldn't me say killed. John is like Fair cordial, down, but like I mean, the side of Gap so the don't miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Right. Keep face, little Giddy up. Here we are. 
Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. What's he gonna say? It's like in that tent or something? The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get me going to the surface. <laughs> I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I feel like he's gonna meet you at the mouth again. mine shaft. An Irish? I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Please don't run off. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Kill that! here for the gun. Okay. Maybe he is telling the truth. Maybe he is. You won't be above snakes for long, you son of a bitch. Oh, is that TNT? Gotta be careful because uh, that cut might cave us in. Don't want that. I don't want to hurt nobody either, but hey. I need that gun. Follow me. What are you waiting on? Oh, yo. Well, this is what you call out number. Look, um, hopefully that's gonna take me in. Ah! Come here, you little bitch. Oh, 
Oh my god. How did I miss all of that? And he's like right in front of me too. Walking slowly might be my best bet right now. Cause like these these um, tunnels are so narrow. Can I go through here? No. Okay. I'm sending you all to hell. Are they coming? No, okay. careful about this. Because if they shoot and hit the TNT as well, I'm doomed. I'm here. Yeah, I know, John. It's just hard to see with these camera movements. Who's that other guy? Why don't you go get some bread? Even this up a bit. What are you doing? Got that guy. Damn it! I'll be seeing you in hell, my friends. Oh, it is a gun. Okay, but he wasn't lying. Does it work? I hope it does. <laughs> Government issue. He did say it was that. Wait, which way do I go? Am I going the right way? I don't know where I'm going. Oh, no. Probably gonna have to fight somebody. without Irish. I mean, I don't know if that would have been better because he's drunk. What can he- Jesus! Oh, we're really riding this thing now. Whee! <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. If he was able to like pick that up and just like push it in there. <laughs> oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the trick? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down there. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! Why do I have to do this? Ah, oh, crap! Great, now we gotta fight people. He's getting <gasps> Alright, we're okay. 
it's fine. I got it. Don't worry. Damn, this kind of looks fine. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. It's better be worth it. I mean, shit, it's a machine gun, but Just still, sure you know, fall off on the way. <laughs> these two are kind of not trustworthy. They're very <laughs> iffy. Please reconnect your controller. Why must this happen? What the? Oh, you're doing the Wilhelm scream. What did this guy do? Um, are those supposed to be cops? Cause you guys are. Oh, okay, never mind. They got him. I was about to say you guys are missing like crazy. All right, we're back with Mr. Dickens. Where do you go, Mr. Marston, sir? John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You yeah, apparently we gotta guide. do everybody a favor before we can actually get somewhere. Taking my tonic, sir, as instructed, it can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I don't know how John hasn't punched I'll this man in the insight. face yet. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For oh, you. God. Uh -huh. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> So what, I have to help him sell again? <laughs> oh my god, mingle with the crowd, why? Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute... Oh my god, please, do I have to be the, like, guinea pig again? <laughs> well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache... Oh, are those cops? This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. Say we Shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, uh -oh. one and all. Uh oh. Somebody get that thing. Ah! Stop shooting at me. Saint Homobonus is not being looking down on me favorably. Luke, Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. I'm gonna use my other gun. It's a little bit stronger. My refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pants. It is true. You can't just get away with it forever. They will come after at some point. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robbing banks is more honest than this. Robbing banks is more honest than this, Loki. <laughs> Loki, I can kind of see John's point. Damn it. Alright. Do 
Chris Dickens, you lost your hat, but you gotta ride faster, my dude. God damn! Do you want a gun? How many people are coming after us? I gotta get them a little bit closer, then they'll sh I'll shoot them off their horse. That guy's still alive, but whatever. It sure is lucky you came along. You did. Lucky for who? Oh, we did pull up. What the hell? What do yokels like you know about science? Look to the front, John. What the? Oh my god! Now let's make haste wait a second. Well that worked out conveniently. Ignorance is in no short supply around here, John. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm pretty sure there's more people coming after us. That would not don't surprise me. Miracles! God. Well that's about what you've been promising them. You stop, West Dickens. Just keep going. For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's not ignorance. It's that they're just smart enough and you're dumb to think you can get away with it. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I agree with I this. I will never give up on science, John. Sir, don't be a science man. Do like, I don't know. He, he's good at set, being a salesperson, but he, he's not in it for like, How you know, these people selling tonics and shit like that. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Crap, here we go. Oh! Ah. You got it all wrong! I'm gonna die out here! <laughs> Damn, there's so many of them after I thought we were done already. Just calm down, will you? Is that it? Oh fuck, dude. Where are they all coming from? I don't know. I would like to know this as well. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. Wait, why'd you stop? I'm hit! John, do something! Gosh! John, I'm hit! I know! I heard you the first time! <laughs> we made it, John! There's Quavaseca up ahead! sure there's like no one else up here after us seems like it was that uh bill's gang i think that was bill's gang i don't know the guys with the top hats or that a different gang i'm not really sure <laughs> well that was a little hairy thank you my dear boy you saved the day again it's not like i had a choice i kind of need you <laughs> Always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. No! How will you just help me and that's it? I'm trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. God damn. All right. Oh, what? What seconds is still here? I can just finish him, like with his stuff, right? Mr. Oh my West God, Dickens. are we racing again? Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir! How wonderful! 
Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, Wait. Never mind, sir. Is he I using his wagon for the Trojan horse? Enjoyed the benefits of a or is he just using the money to, so for his own I advantage and blind to us? If some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We you know, I think it's kind of funny carriage, how this entire time... Tradesman's vehicle John has been threatening more. everybody, but he hasn't carried out with it. <laughs> That's kind of telling of what kind of person he is. He tries to be this, like, scary guy, but he's not. Well, come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork! <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy! I'll show you the way! Here! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it! I'd say they saw right through you. Yeah, it's not a matter of that. Comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully <laughs> Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. True. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Fitchwood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I <laughs> Why is it always a race? This freaking guy, I cannot stand him. I'm going up ahead. Gentlemen, this oh will be my a gosh. race. No shooting, stabbing, clip pushing, rock throwing, cactus right. grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or Damn, people do that? <laughs> unfairly loses weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Oh, come on, horsey, come on. First in the race, bitch. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah. I gotta keep an eye on my stamina meter. First of all, I need to catch up a little bit. Remain on the road yeah. for maximum speed. Oh, okay, my bad. See you later. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I just need to get like a little bit ahead of everybody. Somehow keep this speed going. I think I gotta tap the buttons like every couple of seconds. That's the only way. I'm just scared of getting kicked off my horse. <laughs> like we saw that with Bonnie. <laughs> to do this either. Just have the sneaking feeling. <laughs> Let's go. Just 
keeping an eye on the meter at the bottom because it's freaking me out that I'm, I might get kicked off. Are we there yet? Let's go. God damn. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Can we please leak that before our mom comes after us? Because I have a feeling this is going to happen again. Victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you? All right, think? so we got Seth on board. Bunko, I just need to deal with Irish, I guess. How could things possibly go wrong? Okay, so West Dickens is already on board. Good. So we're just missing Irish. And I don't know if Bonnie has anything to do with this. We've just been helping her on the farm, so I don't know, like, what I have to do with her, you know? Alright, let's see where we are on the map. I could rent a house here. I should probably do that for the sake of me saving. What's wrong with this guy? Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, <laughs> yeah, apparently. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> All right, I'll look for your girlfriend. Damn. <laughs> Why was he talking in third person though? That was kind of weird. All right, look for his love and tumbleweed. Uh, ma'am? Are you the girlfriend or wife? What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. So then who are you? Sells medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. Oh. You dumb fool. Hey? Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come it's on. It's a then. horse? All right, Please tell me. me this is not some bestiality thing, I swear to God. It's better off leaving this this horse with this lady, to be honest. You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. I'd rather not Mr. think I about that either. Thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Wait, why is she making fun of John? Like, I, w I wouldn't think it's a horse either. <laughs> why are we making fun of him? Mister, mister, you found her, mister. Oh, I found her all right. Come here, girl. 
come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. Okay. This is you not like problems, a pet friend. thing, you know? Oh, I got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, Mr. Oh my god, is he Life sleeping with the horse? I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> Ain't you got no more? Bye bye now. Me and Lucy got some catching up to do. Well, bye then. I feel like I should punch this guy in the face. I don't know why. Can a guy get a little privacy? Please, mister, I ain't got two coins to rub together. Oh, no. Alright, I got him away from the horse. I saved the horse! <laughs> oh! Help me! Help me! What's going on? What the hell are you doing? Idiot! Get off her! He was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? A man's pride can make him do crazy things. No, these guys are more like a weirdo. What the heck? All right, I'm clearly somewhere else. Where am I exactly? I'm new in Thieves Landing. Up, sister. Put them. Up. What's he doing? Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, <laughs> Blimey! And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name and your debt to me again. I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. The hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. No, I have a feeling he was always stupid. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Wait, it doesn't work? I knew it. See what I say? How do you know? You when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. <laughs> How about a drink or two, mister? I'm not here for that, what miss. Are you at? Huh? What are you God, looking at? Gonna be hanging around what drunk people. What are you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? What? My prison fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like yeah, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. <laughs> John keeps threatening Johnny. everybody. He Couldn't never does like anything. <laughs> I just think that's really like funny. A weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. Okay, why are you robbing you're them, then? You're a blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Friend, That's not a lie. <laughs> Where are we going, Irish? That's kind of true. Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm yeah. telling you, Johnny Friend, boy, you it's our set up. We're meeting are, this are they getting robbed the over there? The office. Hobble tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And Shaky? He's got the ammunition we need. Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. That's great, but the so far you've been lying to me, so. Keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Do you need help? Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaggy's probably waiting for us there. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. 
This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shake has made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh. Oh, What's happening in there? Oh, shite. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I go get the wagon. I good luck, Master. This man's always getting the wagon. <sighs> Always doing the heavy lifting for this fucking guy. All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Okay. How do I? What? Oh, there's a ladder. I thought I was just. Gonna... You know, I thought I was gonna walk in and just do dead eye. That's honestly what I thought I was gonna do. Crouch, John. All right, here we go. Crouching. This window? Which window am I going? Or maybe the other one? Hey, you hear that? Wait, did they hear it? Seriously? Is there a way I can just take down this guy? Alright. Why am I still crouching? Fuck this. Mister. Yeah, no problem. I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. <laughs> there he goes. Oh sh! There he goes, threatening this again. Is gonna be one hell of a fight. Can you shoot, sir? Let's head before the door. What the? Follow me. <laughs> what was that? Well, I'll kill you. to make sure, sure, sure work. Yeah, well, I hope so. Shit, shit, nail. Nobody puts their hands on. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I like, I, I kind of like that he has a stutter, because, like, I'm somebody who has a stutter as well, so I think it's kind of cool. Wait, am I open? Oh, sorry. Let me open this for you. Please tell me Irish is on the other side. And he's not great. Okay, we'll get him. Come on! God damn. I'm right here. There's my rooster. Shut up, stupid. I'm gonna kill you. Then rob you. Yeah, do that. Do that, Shaky. I kind of like Shaky. <laughs> get out of here, all of you. Oh, oh damn, I shot the box. I've seen something. Ow! Shit! Come on, Who's boy. Making for fun? Damn it. I see him. I didn't get closer. It can't be like this. Come on, partner! Oh, we're gonna finish him alright, don't worry. All right. Show me where right. it is, dude. Follow me. Look out! More than that. What the? Damn! How many people are here? He barely got. I can't really see, to be honest. You ain't gonna win this. I gotta move up closer. Hey. 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 
going. All right, we got it. All right, Shaky, where are you? Yeah. Now we're even. Good. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Shake. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. Mori did. Dirty fu 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 fucking snake. Uh, bu 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 I don't gentlemen. make fun of him. Let's go. Fuck, 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 fucking, fuck. Oh my virgin ears. Fuck. <laughs> All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. This is a bad place to be. I did tell her. Did you have a good idea that he's driving? He is drunk. I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Right, because you just run away to get the wagon. Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Oh, no. They're coming after us. Shoot those bastards. I'm going to hit from the cannon. Okay. This is not good. Get away from me. Oh, that one nearly gave me a haircut. <laughs> Alright, Irish, if you can drive faster, that'd be great. I don't like this match. Be hard to beat like a bloody drove. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish. That machine gun had better work after all this. Right? Don't you worry. So much you trouble. won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that fella out the fridge. Jesus, we really ruffled a few feathers back there. All right. Well, Seems like there. half New Austin wants to be dead. Here come by like that bastard. enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I'm at the fort. Oh, yeah, yeah. All your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. I guess we are using Dickens's um, wagon. I didn't think we were. I thought we were going to use somebody else's because he was just talking like he didn't want. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't realize we're at the farm. Perfect. I'm just going to go to Bonnie, I guess. Since I guess we got everything ready for the fight. Bonnie's the last person that we need to talk to, I guess. <laughs> Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And uh, if we here. leave our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Going before the weather gets any worse. All right. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look. That is true. I like the way that John thinks. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. 
Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. What do you mean by that? Not gonna give me my wife and kid back. Are they okay? No changing that. Careful! Faith can't afford to fall! Can't afford. Get up! We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. in line and I have to get the stragglers. Yeah. Alright, thanks for shoving into me. That's great. Stupid 
One day. He does own Thank a you, farm. Mr. Hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. I hope nothing bad happened to him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Well, hello there. Yo, I got him stuck. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. That's You're true. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Uh, yeah, I don't blame her for that. Cause I was gonna say, like, I don't think she has any other family members. Just her dad. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. Damn. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. I just never met a man in a tie I can trust. I mean, you have a Get point up. there. Who's that over there? that majority of the people, at least in this era, who are suit and tie are kind of, like, dangerous. Hey, what's Let's going go. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. Okay. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Careful. Come on. All right. I have a feeling we're gonna get a tie. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I 
think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who yeah, could have done something like that? And get back up. Paul seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Whoa. What's with the smoke? Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, by yourself. Better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? I'm getting a little annoyed by like everybody in this game calling like John a hypocrite and stuff like that because it, it seems like they won't let him learn from his mistakes. It's pretty clear that John accepts the fact that he's not a good person, that he hasn't done good things. He never said like, oh, I'm not like that. I'm a good guy. He's never said that through this entire game. I just find it funny that they constantly keep berating him being like, oh, you used to kill people. You used to rob people. I don't understand why you're getting mad. And I guess that's kind of the whole point because the whole point of this game at least the main plot point is John is trying to like redeem himself for like what he's done and I guess in a sense it's, it's a little bit forceful because he's forced by the law to hunt down his old gang and like get them right so I, I I don't know it just makes me mad that people don't see the fact that John is genuinely trying it's not like he doesn't want to he has a freaking farm for god's sakes and he's not like attacking people he's trying to make a living for his family it's disgusting you never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't really- Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Oh, see? What did I say? Shit! Come on, boy! I definitely think that was on purpose. All right, buddy, it's you and me. Come on. Come on. I didn't knock somebody. What? Because <laughs> I knocked that guy over, but he was in the way. It's not like I did that on purpose. <laughs> no. Not get on the horse, Sean. I get it! We're running out of time! Oh my god. <laughs> this fucking game. Alright, where's Bonnie at? Load up now. Jesus. <laughs> Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Yeah, no, hey, no worries, buddy. Hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. 
Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. <laughs> Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. That's true. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. Thanks. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. She's still in love with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So it seems like we have already everything we need to barge into the fort and deal with build. I just don't know how well this is gonna go because it's me, Wes Dickens, Irish, and Seth. I don't know what kind of combination that is, but I, I have a feeling something may happen because every time something somebody plans something, it never goes their, their way. So uh, hopefully we'll be okay, but Bill is our first stop. And I wonder how many more of the Vanderlyn gang is out there because I genuinely have no idea how many he's going to be looking after. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Red Dead Redemption. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.